Hi, I'm Eric Siegel. In this video we're going to weather an O-scale freight car and while we're at it we're going to install one of MTH's new end of train device equipped trucks that they put out earlier this year. This is our work area. Starting over here we've got our O-scale freight car. This is a Husky stack that was put out by MTH. Right here we've got the end of train device equipped truck that MTH put out earlier this year. We're going to replace this truck on the freight car with this one. In order to do that you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Over here we've got the weathering powders that are going to be used to weather the car. These are self-adhering weathering powders that are made by Bragdon Enterprises and they come in a variety of colors. Right here we've got an assortment of brushes and we're going to use these to apply these weathering powders. These are cheap brushes that I just picked up in a big multi-pack so you don't have to spend a lot of money on these brushes. Right here we've got a bottle of Tester's Dull Coat Lacquer. You can pick this up at any hobby store, some craft stores, or you can even get it online if you can't find it locally. I'll get into what this is for later. And right here we've got some isopropyl alcohol. This is going to be used to clean our brushes as well as to wet some of these weathering powders and apply them to the car. And then finally we've got a bottle of Air Duster. We're just going to use this to blow off any excess weathering powders that we happen to get on the freight car. So that's about it, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove these containers from the Husky stack because we're not going to weather them yet and we don't want them to get damaged or dirty in any way. So that way we can just focus on the Husky stack. Now, as I said, we're going to be replacing this truck on the Husky stack with this new end of train device equipped truck that MTH has put out. Now ordinarily when I'm weathering a car I wouldn't detach the trucks and weather them separately, but since we've already got this one separated, I'm going to go ahead and weather it before we put it on the car. And then, just so it matches, we'll also take this other truck off and weather it separately. So let's start off by weathering this end of train device equipped truck. If you look at this new truck, or any new truck on a piece of rolling stock for that matter, you're going to notice that it's quite shiny because of the glossy paint that they use and therefore it doesn't look as realistic as it could. To help minimize that effect we're going to use some of the dull coat lacquer. Now the dull coat lacquer really does two things. The first thing it does is, as its name implies, it makes things look dull. It's going to take the shine off of the truck and therefore make it look a little more realistic, a little more worn. The other thing it's going to do is provide a better surface for the weathering powders to stick to. If you apply the weathering powders to just the painted surface of the truck, it won't stick very well and it just won't look right. Before you start, you want to make sure you shake your dull coat and get it nice and mixed up. And then we're going to take a medium brush and get some dull coat on it. Not too much, you don't want it dripping all over the place. Just enough so that it's, the brush has a nice coat on it. And then we're going to start applying it to the truck. So we'll start putting on the sides here. And just get a nice even coat. You don't want it dripping down the sides. So don't put too much on all at once. And make sure you get in all these crevices and holes. And just keep going all the way around. Make sure you get the bottoms. And also make sure you get the top. Like that. Try not to get any on the surface of the wheels, especially on the surface of the wheel that's going to contact the track because you don't want junk on the surface of the wheel that's going to contact the track because that will in turn get the stuff on the track and the next thing you know you've got bad signals and your trains don't work right. So just get a nice coat in there. I like to poke the brush a little bit to get in these little crevices here. And then we'll also do the the coupler. We'll also get up on the end of train device. Make sure we get a good coat on that. And 
and you want to get on the underside of a cup or two so that anywhere you look on this thing you're going to see a uniform appearance. And you're going to also want to get this side of the truck too. And once you're done, just give it a couple minutes to dry. It'll dry pretty quickly and then we'll start applying some of the weathering powders. Okay, now we've given a couple minutes for the dull coat to dry and I've also applied the dull coat to the other side. And while I was at it, I also applied a second coat of the dull coat uh, to the truck. So now it's it's dry. It's not so dry that it's completely dry, but it's it's dry enough where we can handle it, but it's still got a little tackiness, so it'll take the powder really well. So now we're going to add some of the weathering powder to this truck. I'm going to start off by taking a small brush and getting some of the weathering powder on the brush. I'm going to start off with some Dust Bowl Brown, which is kind of a light earth brown. And <clears throat> I'm going to put it right here on the paper. And then I'm going to mix in a little of, of the dark brown powder as well to give it a little little darker shade. So now I've got a nice bra brown powder here. And this is what I'm going to use to weather the truck. So <clears throat> we're going to pick up the truck, get a little bit of the powder on the brush, and then start applying it. And I just like to do this little poking action, kind of like a stipple action, where you poke the truck with the brush, and that leaves the powder on the truck. And then once it's on there, you can rub it around a little bit, because the dry adhesive that's in the powder is activated when you rub it. So it's important that after you get the powder onto the truck, you rub it around a little bit to, to, to get it in there really good. And I'm just going to keep going. And get a nice coat of this brown powder on the on the truck. And again, be sure you get the the bottom of the truck. As well as the top. And you also want to get the front side here and this other side here. And there we go. And now I'm going to blow, blow the excess powder off with the air duster. Now, if you can see it on the video well enough, there's a nice coat of, of weathering powder on there, and it makes the truck look nice and weathered. Now that I've got the side of the truck done, I'm going to keep on going and do the coupler. So I'm going to get some more weathering powder on my brush and just start applying it to the coupler. I'll put it on the sides, I'll put it on the top, <clears throat> pretty much anywhere you see an exposed surface. I like to get inside the truck, I mean <laughs> inside the coupler. On the other side. And I also like to get the air hose, the uh, the brake line. 